guys so yes i blew good my pfds turned out good they were the same as last time so i did not have to do a bronc which is a bronchoscopy and i was super excited about that so the reason i just kind of cut off that vlog is because we were so tired literally after i got done doing my pfts we hopped back in the truck and went straight back to where i live now which is six hours away so we were so tired we had literally driven like 18 out of like or 12 out of 24 hours for sure and then the day before we drove another six hours so we have been doing a lot of driving and i just want to kiss my floor now because i want to be home then we got home and last night i started like freaking out because my cheeks and everything they were like super red so i thought i was having like a reaction to the medicine and everything and we called like the pharmacist and she was like well it's like Literally, I'll show you, I'll insert a picture here, but my face was super red. Like, literally, my boyfriend noticed it before I did. He was like, you are, like, your cheeks and everything are really red. And usually, I'll get rosy cheeks, like, on steroids and stuff like that. But, like I said, really red. As you can see in the picture, it just, like... I don't know I don't know if I was like sunburnt for some odd reason I don't know but the reason I don't think it was a sunburn too is because I was also swollen I was swollen more this morning too like under my eyes and my eyes were swollen like my eyelids were swollen so I don't know what was going on but I ended up just taking a smaller dose of the new medication and then I just went to sleep and woke up like this so we are good today so that's just what's so scary about taking like a new medicine is you just don't know how your body reacts. I for one am super like my body you know it's taken so much medicine it's just like I don't know my sometimes my body does great and sometimes it doesn't that's why I was so scary changing to this new medicine because I was literally on that other medicine for you know three years ever since I've had the transplant and I've been great on that. So yeah, always a very scary thing. One thing I have noticed is I've been in bed all day. I am super drowsy. I'm surprised I honestly even picked up the camera and got myself ready, but I did. So this new med is definitely kicking my little butt over here because I'm just like so tired. I've taken like 10 naps. <laughs> so yeah, definitely tired. We were just chilling in bed, had some queso and stuff like that. So yeah actually you want to see the new medicine i have it right here these are the giant bottles i think some spilled on the bed but they're actually quite bright little pills here so yeah and these i have to take four of these do you like you probably can't even tell how big that is but like four of them is a lot the other one i had to take was like a half of a pill it was so small so i'm like i literally read the bottle and my mom like double checked like with the pharmacist she was like four of these like not just one not two but four my body is processing a lot and we're just gonna be still in the moment take it easy and yeah also guys i just wanted to talk about something so i usually don't talk about like family and personal stuff just because i don't know i usually think like that's our business and stuff but I did want to share that my grandmother, she had a brain aneurysm. So my mom is actually away from me. She's down, you know, taking care of her right now. She is in critical condition. So right now it's just a crazy time. Like I cannot express to you enough how stressed we all are right now. Like me being on this new medication, hoping my levels go down. And then just my grandma, like that is my grandma. Like nothing can happen to her but like I said her brain she had a brain aneurysm and they went and did surgery and she survived the surgery but she's just not like she's really not making sense so that's all I'm gonna say about that so I'm just asking for prayers guys and that's why I haven't posted I've been vlogging all this but I haven't got to like edit or anything just because a lot going on here so yeah, and that's kind of what's crack a lacking. So yeah, please send prayers to her because I just want like my grandma back. Like I picture her one way and I just like hate seeing her like this. So yeah, I literally, me and my mom, I just 
it literally breaks my heart hearing my mom like cry on the phone to me because I mean that's her mom and so it's just like the hardest thing so yeah stress levels up to here prayers appreciated and yeah thank you guys so much for just letting me rant I mean these vlogs are nothing special but trying to keep you guys updated along the way so yeah I appreciate you guys you so much and also since I had my hair done like in my hairdresser while I was in um, my hometown I love my hair it looks so much better because during quarantine I like I had like dyed it underneath like by myself because I wanted it like dark underneath I don't know what I was thinking but I did that during quarantine and then it like turned like orange and I hated it like I swear I wouldn't even like film because it just looked so bad um so yeah I'm glad my hair is fixed it looks so good now I honestly my hair is not as long as it used to be but I honestly love being blonde like I it fits me good I feel like it matches my blue eyes I'm not trying to be like basic but yeah I feel like I look good this is me I like I look at pictures too I was like I still think I could like rock dark hair but I don't know I like the blonde so also guys very exciting news well it's probably not exciting to you but it is to me um for my lungiversary Ooh, also sorry I'm just ranting my mind's like in 50 different places if you cannot tell but for my lungiversary my mom and dad got me an air conditioner for the house so we are finally not burning in our house it is amazing I literally can wear a sweatshirt <laughs> you guys don't understand how excited I am about wearing like makes me want to wear sweats it was the funniest thing literally like today I thought it was like cold outside so I like put a long sleeve shirt on and then I went outside I was like yeah I'm gonna have to go change <laughs> so yeah it feels amazing here my dog loves it it's awesome so much so thank you to my parents and with that being said on my lungiversary which was September 7th I did vlog a little bit I didn't vlog that much because I didn't really do anything special I just spent the day with my boyfriend because again my family is taking care of my grandma so we didn't get to do anything like special like go out to eat like we usually do but again that was totally okay I totally understand and um, so with that being said I want to make a video answering your questions about my transplant just to, like to spread awareness and stuff so I am going to work on that video pretty soon but if you guys have any questions about my transplant any details um, anything you'd like to know about my transplant and stuff like that organ donation in general then comment down below and I will answer that question in that video if you made it this far mm. I love you guys life is crazy I think like when somebody gets sick in your family it really makes you like sit down and realize like how thankful you are and it makes you like regret a lot too like oh I should have seen my grandmother more like I haven't seen her in forever and I feel so bad about that but it's just because of like COVID and everything too like I'm just so ready for like COVID to be over it's like my mom's worst nightmare being in a hospital during a pandemic and she's having to go up there but yeah I guess I'm ready for COVID to be over even though I don't think it's going to be over. There's no vaccination. I guess I'm just ready for 2020 to be over. So yeah, I'll keep updating you guys on my little journey with this new med if it doesn't just make me sleep forever. And I go back in two weeks to like, yeah, in two weeks I have to drive back six hours because they don't do this test that like looks for whatever it's supposed to, these antibodies they don't do it anywhere around here so I have to go to my transplant hospital just to get blood work so I have to go back in two weeks so fun but yeah I'll keep you guys updated thank you guys so much for watching this video I guess I'm gonna go ahead and stop it here because I just kind of wanted to rant and tell you guys what's crack -a -lack. and so yeah I love you guys so, so much and I'll see you guys soon bye guys